What's up everybody? So it feels like it's been just about forever since I last recorded one of my usual how-to videos, but I'm just making it work whenever I can. Now we're continuing with our theme of teletherapy since so many of us are transitioning our practices over to teletherapy, at least for now. Now one of the major questions about teletherapy that I haven't yet answered on this question is how to have your clients complete their forms remotely, especially if you're doing an intake and you need their signature. That can be especially challenging. So today I'm going to try out a platform that claims to create an easy option for your clients to fill out and sign forms online and it is HIPAA secure. Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. The name of the platform is Sign Now. I've never used it before. So far, all I've done is create a login. So let's kind of check it out and see if we can make it work. So go to signnow.com. So something I'm just noticing as I log in is it says sign now free for three months for healthcare institutions. That's really wonderful. So let's go ahead and log in and give this a try. Now the question is, do, should I upload a doc or a PDF? Let's start by trying the doc document. Okay. Let's have signer one be me at my other email. Start adding fields. Okay. I see. I understand. You go to the left toolbar here and there's several options. You select the, e the one that you want. So for here it says client name and print. So I'm going to select text field and then just place it right above. So here I can tell my clients, you know, I want you to put your first name. Uh, we'll say okay. And I'm going to do another text field next to it. And my last name. This is just telling them what I want them to put in that field. Um, and here, look, you can select date time. We're going to stick it right there. Maybe make it smaller. Okay. Just click OK. And then the signature field, which is why we're all here. It looks like that one wants to go here anyway. Click OK. So just for the purposes of testing out sign now, I'm going to leave it as is and send it to myself at my other email and see how easy it is to fill this out. So save and invite. Also based on how I just filled this out, it looks like regardless of whether you're uploading a doc or a PDF, uh, the system should work the same. So let me check my email and see if it's in there. Hey, here it is. It came right away. You were invited to sign. So this is what it looks like. Your, your client is going to get an email or your new client is going to get an email that looks like this. So I clicked sign. I click sign document. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to click start. So it gives you instructions in this blue box. Like this is my first name and last name date signature. Once you click on the box, then the instruction disappears. It's today. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, how do I, oh, I can type the signature, draw it, or upload an image. Or if you've used one before, you can use it from here. So, I mean, if you wanna just be, your clients could just do this. And I could say, that's my signature. I feel great about it and click add. If they want, I don't want you to see what my signature looks like, so we'll just, you know, your clients could put their signature here. Um, okay, let's just see if that does it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and it says I've completed it, so then I click done. Let's see what happens. Okay, beautiful. So now if I go back to my dashboard, it says waiting for others. I wonder how long until it updates. Let me refresh. Ooh, it says Marie signed it. So now what? I can open the document, copy, download, email. Well, let's not do that. So depending on what type of charting you use, you have different options here. So you could go ahead and, and open it and then just print it out and have it in your paper file. Um, you could also download it and upload to an EHR or upload to something like Google Drive if you're using that for your client charting. But for now, I just want to see what this looks like. Did it work? Yep, there it is. I can read it. 
There it is, Marie Fang with the date and my pretend signature. This is also important because we do sign our informed consents as well. I love that I can put my own signature in here. I'll just do it this way for now as the therapist. In fact, I normally sign it like this. Let's just use that one. Oh, that is very tiny. <laughs> no problem. Well, I like that you can resize these things. So, you know, if this were your actual form, how do I fill that up? Oh, I see. I just start typing. It's a learning curve for all of us. And uh, today's date, there. There it is. So if you wanted to, now it's done. That's an important step actually before downloading it to go ahead and sign it yourself. And then you can download and do whatever you need to do in a HIPAA compliant manner with that paperwork. Now Sign Now is offering three free months for healthcare providers, which is wonderful, especially given the times that we're in and that many of us might only need it on this very temporary basis. But if you are offering teletherapy services in an ongoing way, their cheapest plan is $15 a month, which feels very reasonable for the service that you receive, how easy it is for the client to complete, and how easy it is for us to use it as well. Now, the way I just showed you how to use it is kind of the most basic functionality. And at this point, if you were really using it, you would need to print it out or download it and up it, upload it to your EHR or something like that. Now, it is an option to integrate Sign Now with G Suite. I haven't personally explored how to do that yet, but if you're interested in seeing that video, leave a comment below and I'm happy to explore that further in another video. I hope this was a helpful video for you to get the ball rolling so that you're HIPAA secure and you're following all the proper documentation protocol without having to go through too much hassle, hopefully. Well, until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. Today's video is brought to you by therapynotes.com. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, and billing so that you can spend more time with your clients and less time on back office paperwork. Click the link in the description of this video to get two months to try it for free with no commitment.